Hi everyone, welcome back to Snowdonia, the master set, the Y Valley Tora versus Bot Dell. It's Bot Dell's turn because he's usurped the first player marker off me. He rolls a three, so he is going to take an A action and keep his first player marker right next to him. I have three workers this round. Now I would like to, the work rate is only two, so I'm, I'm tempted to hang on to the work rate. I could double it to four. And if I took two excavation actions, I would be able, oh, this would be brilliant. I would be able to build the tunnel and excavate through to the station. So I'm going to take a build action. And if Botdell goes on there, could he go on there? D next, C next, D next. He's not going to go on there next. Brilliant. Oh, we needed to roll to see if he had his extra worker, didn't we? He rolled even and he's got a coal. So he'll spend a coal to get his third worker this round. Okay, so back to his turns. I need to remember that. Uh, so he's going to go on E. There he goes. Oh, he, he, always, he always gives priority to action space one, by the way, there. Uh, you know, he's got different rules for the spaces where he's got a choice. I want to excavate again. So that's fine by me. And Botdell wants to do a D, which is late... Oh, that's going to be... That's unfortunate. I wanted to do that as well, didn't I? I've got the plus one track. Too late now. I've got hung up on this excavating. Oh, well. So, he's got a coal. He's not going to take that. Has he got five? He has now. And then I think he takes another one, so he's got a multiple of three. And that's his three things, just three iron. Then... Let's put him back in the pub, because we're going to have to roll to check if he gets his extra worker back next round. For me, I'm going to do excavating. I'm going to play my card that says, whenever you take the excavation action this round, remove double the number of rubble cubes. Would be brilliant later, because you know, as soon as it's sun, that's going to shoot up to four a time. Maybe I'm wasting this, but it's happening. So I'm going to clear eight off. Now, whenever you clear in a tunnel, I think I've mentioned this before, for every two rubble you take, you need to pay a stone. And that represents, you know, you, you fortifying the walls of the tunnel that you are digging. So I am going to do that. I need to pay two stone. And for each one that you pay, you put an ownership marker on the tunnel. Now that it's cleared off, I get that four rubble. We flip it around. And you can see there are two spaces for ownership markers. You cannot lay track on tunnel spaces. My ownership markers just go there and I've earned myself four points. And then the next, the second four rate action is, you know, another four rubble cubes for me. And I get to place another ownership marker. I haven't got that many left actually on this station here. And I could move my surveyor to it actually and get some nice beer drunk once it's not raining. So I think that's a very good turn. That's a lot of stuff done. And I have five, six, three more things in stations, and I've met my requirements for my cards. Oh, I have a third worker. Where's, where's the third worker going? Get some resources, maybe? Since I spent all my resources? It could have got me a train. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's get a train. Train, 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 train. And that will help me get extra workers in the future. So that's done. We have lay track for Botdell. So he just obeys the current work rate. So he pays one steel bar to... Is this his first... This is his very first ownership marker going out onto the board. And that's him done. And then we are building, but he's going first. So when he has the choice, he will go for the highest victory point reward he can afford. And that is going to be eight points for a steel bar. So he goes on there and builds in that station. I'm paying one of my steel bars to grab the guinea pig train. That's what I want. And so I'm going to be able to pay a coal every round if I want to, to get my extra worker. And that's the round done. So my third goes back in the pub. Discard a contract card. Refill. More sun. Beautiful. So the weather at the moment is just bright as can be. And the work rate reflects that. We go up there just normally now on the excavation six things from the bag will we get some more event cubes we get one two three four i think a lot of iron's been put back in here hasn't it so event cubes not as likely to happen there we go so it is still bot isn't it he secured that we need to roll 
to see if he to see if he keeps his uh see if he uses extra worker so it is sunny though i think either way if he rolls even no he didn't but it's sunny and he's got two coal so we will pay one coal to get his extra worker now where are these workers going to go starting off with one it's going to go in b he chooses can a station be cleared no so he chooses the second space where do i want to go we could clear off some things but i think i would like Oh, am I paying a coal? Yes. I'm paying a coal, so I get my pub worker as well. I'm going to grab that first player marker, thank you very much, and go in there. Because maybe I can grab some stone and then do some building. That's a good idea. Then we are... Because I, I can just build in that station. Ooh. I want to do that, because look at look here. If you can get four markers in there, you'll get 40 points. And I can build in there while all this is jammed up. Yeah, the guinea pig's definitely a really good one to have in this. Although you could re go crazy, couldn't you, on excavation and uh, catch up. Especially while the work rate's four and there are cars that double it. So yeah, that's, that's my first worker. Now we just need Botdell, don't we? Botdell goes in number two, which is going to be a G. So he's going to move his surveyor. I think I might move my surveyor... Get some beer, some rewards. What am I thinking? I'm getting some... I want to build up and get more iron bars in future, don't I? So I, th I think I'm going to go resources again, and then I'm going to go to build space. Not going to do surveyor just yet. I've got coal to be able to afford my worker next round. Where's Botdell going? He's going on number four. There we go. So he's taking a C. So he's doing some conversions. I wasn't going to do that yet anyway. And I'm going to go on a build space and start doing the Duke of Beaufort's Bridge. So, we have resource gathering. I can take one coal for this action, and I'm going to take two iron. And then for my second one, I could take coal again. But I think I want three iron, because then I have six iron, and I can turn that into two cubes later. Uh, steel bars rather than cubes. They're already cubes. So they come back. Let's put one in the pub so I don't forget. Then we have excavation. He excavates at plus one the work rate, so he gets five. That's two, three, four, five. And so we can flip that over. Actually, it's not flipped over until you build the track, is it? Yeah, that should stay like that. So there we go. Because the, the, the game can build them as well, and that's when you flip them over and they don't have any token in them. He converts. So when he converts, if he has two or more iron ore and conversions remaining, if he has exactly two, he can turn it into a steel bar. He's got three, though. So his first two conversions are going to be on turning these into steel bars. It's uh, good for stopping those event cubes coming out. And then if he has two or more rubble and less than four stone, which is true, then he is going to convert some of that rubble. Then he's going to convert two of that rubble into one stone. OK, and that's his three conversions. He did iron ore twice. And then he did stone once. I'm going to build. I have my iron bar. And because I have the guinea pig train that lets me build ahead, I'm going to build up here. And that's going to be seven points for now. I was just going to put the steel bar on there before realizing that wouldn't say much. It's going to be seven points now, but more and more points if I can get more markers on there. Up to 40 points if I can get all four. But that requires, you know, getting a load of steel and stuff before the Botdell or the dummy, dummy company manages to do it. So that's the building sorted. And finally, the surveyor. There are some special rules just for the Y Valley Tourer for Botdell's surveyor. So, are there empty spaces left on his postcard? Yes. Is there an incomplete station where he doesn't have an ownership marker? Now here, he can't get the beer anymore because... I've completed the station. It has to be incomplete for your surveyor to go and get that. So he can't go there. There is one available there that the surveyor could move to because the rubble's been cleared up to it. And we've started building it. Uh, he does, though, need a coal to pay because, remember, if you want to jump your surveyor around, then you need coal. So the surveyor jumps up there and he's going to get a beer. And he just places his on the thing that's going to get him the most points. He doesn't spend one of his own rubble, does he? <laughs> going to be one from the supply and there we go that's the round so weather 
slide them along and yeah the weather is starting to get worse again but not not for now it's going to be pretty nice for a couple more rounds sunny again which means excavation can't go up anymore laying track does though and then we need six from the bag let's see there there are five event cubes in the bag oh there's one four five six so two are already out well three are already out now so lay track is just at the current work rate lay that much track so that's going to be two so actually all the available track is about to get laid there we go that one and that one just done by the game itself and the next one is fully complete a station which at the moment would only be that one there okay i have the first player marker again so what do i want i've got some I want steel bars, don't I? So I can keep doing that. Let's see, I'm, I'm paying a coal for a start. Botdale's not going to have that option because he hasn't got any coal. I'm getting my third worker. So I want to be able to convert, definitely. I probably want to get more resources, convert, and build. Or do I just want to convert and build twice? Because I'll have two steel bars. It's just that I might lose my train if I don't have a steel bar to pay for maintenance when that rolls around. Oh, 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 look at this contract card. Oh, it's going to be too late. What if I save it for the future? Whenever you take the build action, you can use three iron ore as if they were a steel bar once per action, though. That would, that would, that would skip my... I could do the two builds, and then I would have more things for the rubble and the track that I'm laying. So I have... I've got one on track so far. I've already... I need two for those 15 points there, so... Uh, let, let's stick with the plan. Stick with the plan. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So Botdale hasn't got the option to get his third worker. He rolls a three, so he's going to do a B action. And can a station be cleared? No. So he goes on the second space. Then for me, I want more resources, don't I? And to keep my first player. Botdale wants to do an E, which is going to be building stuff. Always takes first priority there. And then for me... I wanted to build, didn't I? Because I'll have steel bars. So yeah, I'm going to build in that station while, I, while I'm, I've got it in, ahead of time because of the guinea pig train. So getting resources, I'm just... I've still got a coal, so I'm going to be able to get a worker one more time. I'm just going to get iron so that I can convert it three times. Excavates at plus one the work rate, so that's going to be five rubble coming off. Four, five... He does get points for all of this at the end of the game, by the way, all of these cubes left over. So don't count him out just yet. Comes off. I'm going to do three iron conversions with all of my iron here. Six. I've got nine, so that's going to be three steel bars. That's it for conversions. Building. So there is, there is a bit more to it, by the way. I did skip this because it doesn't apply yet. There are extra rules. There are extra flowchart bits for if these two stations are available you know the ones where we're competing to you know the more you have on there the more points you'll get those are his top 100 percent priority but you can only build in a station once the track has been cleared so he'll build in the most expensive the you know the best thing he can afford for points all he can do really is the two stone here for six points it's something though my build and that is absolutely gonna be a steel bar again or this station so that's going to be 16 points now so i earned nine effectively for the second build and it's going to be another nine if we can do the third and then 13 for the fourth one but as you can see the, the rubble is being cleared quite quickly and the, the dummy the events might complete that station so is that it for this round i think it is so back in the pub discard the first one over here and so weather is going to be rain again up there and six cubes from the bag is going to be two five thought i'd grab the right amount there six no event cubes although yeah resources do keep getting poured back into the bag i keep converting and spending all of this stuff so we have first player sits with me still. Am I paying a coal? Only got one coal, but I think yes. 
It might be worth moving the surveyor. I'm getting my third worker. It might be worth moving the surveyor because it's going to rain for a while. I'm not going to be able to drink beer for a bit. I've got two steel bars. Thinking about building tracks for my card, but yeah, I want to. Uh, I want more resources for the future, and I want to keep my first player, so I'm going to do that. Botdell doesn't have a coal still, so doesn't have the option of getting his extra worker. He's just going to roll a two, and he's going to do a B action, which is going to be can he clear a station? No, so he is going to go on the second space. For me, I want to build, don't I? And then Botdell is going to go on four, which is D. And so he's going to lay some track, which he can afford. He's got steel bars. And for me, I want to move my surveyor and drink some beer. So resources, I think. Uh, I'm going to go for stone because. Am I going to go for stone? Because we can just convert the stone. I'm going to grab a coal so I can keep getting my extra worker and two iron. Then for Botdell, he excavates at five. The work Oh, the, the track work rate should be right up, shouldn't it? Oh, so he's going to get to do two. That could sting. So he's going to get to do five rubble. Four, five. Loads of rubble on that card there. And then track at the current rate. That is two. So he is on there. That's going to be seven more points for him. Maybe more with contract cards that might want him to have built tracks. There is some track building available. Then building. I'm spending my steel bars, though on this station here. As you can see, I'm, I've got only got four ownership markers left. You don't get more in the game. So getting beer could have been a bad call. Because that's going to use an ownership marker. If I want to have, you know, majority and the next one as well. Oh dear. It will end the game though if that happens. So maybe I don't have to worry about that. Uh, so builds happened. Surveying. Let's put him in the pub so I don't forget. I'm not going to pay coal. I'm just going to move him along one. I haven't got... Oh, that station's completed, though, isn't it? Oh, dear. So I could just move him there, but the station's been completed. Or do we... Let's pay the coal. Yeah, let's pay the coal so we can move him. He can just skip to the next station. Oh, that one's not got beer on it. There we go. Up here. Surveyor doesn't care whether rubble's been cleared or not. He's just surveying. And... So we can grab a beer, and so I can have, you know, my extra worker next round. I could have a contract card, though. Could be better off with a contract card. Or just 11 points. No, I'm, I'm going to go for, so it's a rubble from the supply to indicate this. I'm going to get my worker next round. Let's pop him there. I'm not going to have the coal to be able to pay for him. Okay, drink some beer. We are finished for the round, so we discard, move, move. Rain, rain, rain is coming up. Wow. So yeah, that, that work rate is going to plummet. So no beer drinking, and we move down one on those. I'm first player. I already get my worker. But Dell still doesn't have a coal, so he can't get his extra worker. I have a steel bar, and we're away from... Oh, we need to do the cubes, don't we? Th talking about train maintenance. I don't think, you know, just uh, through luck or whatever... Event cubes are not going to have an impact on this particular game. So, so what do I want? I want more resources. I want more steel bars. I want to keep building in that place. So let's, let's secure my resources. It's still not cleared up to that station yet, so he can't build there. Three means he's going to do a B action, which is excavate. With four cubes, no, he can't do a station, so he'll move to the next one along. Although he can't clear a station anyway. That one hasn't got rubble on it. That one hasn't got rubble on it. It's ages until there's a station that rewards you clearing rubble out of it. So for me, I'm not going to have enough to do a fancy conversion. I, I want to do a build. I don't think we need more. How many, cubes, how many things have I got on these now? Two, five, six, nine, ten. And I needed eight. I want something that just rewards having built in stations, really. I could grab this one. 
and this lets you draw two cards from the top deck and choose whether you want to keep this one or swap it for one of the ones you draw. Or this one here, immediately convert two iron ore into a steel bar up to two times. Oh, I like that. I want a contract card. It only rewards you for track there just once for four points, though. See, we definitely want to do some building. And then five is going to be a D action for Bot Dell, which is late. Oh, it is. It's going to be really good for laying track. That's still on two. And then me. Pointless moving the surveyor. There's no points for it like there is in normal Snowdonia. And I could just get more resources. Or do I want a contract? I want a contract card because these could you know, be the huge, huge points getters. Get us at the end of the game. So, yeah, let's do that. Oh, I don't know why I'm grabbing it yet. We're ready. Okay, so we need a coal if we want to keep that extra worker. And if we want anything in that station up there, even just for blocking Bot Dell off once it gets uncovered, if the game's still going on there, I want to have some stone. But actually, for conversion purposes, I want iron, don't I? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, and I keep my first player. Bot Dell excavates at a rate of four. A lot of cubes, not enough to even get to that station, though, and have the option of building there. Then lay track. He does get to lay track twice. Okay, two of his markers. And, yeah, it's going to be some nice points for that. Hopefully he's got contract cards that reward him for building track. Comes off, and for me, I am building. I'm spending my last steel bar to... Complete this station. 40 points. That's going to be huge. That's going to be absolutely huge, I think. And what else do we need? Our contract card. So do I want to do this now so I can get steel bars? It's not a great reward. Well, if I don't go on another track, I probably want to convert these and get the steel bars so that I can do some track laying. But the work rate's going down and down and down. I'm going to get this one and hope to get a better contract. If I can build one more track by the end of the game, that's going to be satisfied. Whereas I've built in stations, I've overbuilt in stations, really. So this could be good. I have got the rubble. And if I build in two more tracks, then I would satisfy this. So I can choose to keep this. That's the one I'm taking, though. Keep it on this side because I haven't activated its power yet. And so they slide along. It's going to be rain again. So no point changing anything. Rates go down, no beer can be drunk. Six cubes from the bag, and they're gonna be, oh, an event cube, five, six. So let's just fill up the stockyard for now, and then we're gonna do some station building. Cubes one, two, and three now go back in the bag. So that's made it more likely that events are coming out. Look at how full the stockyard is getting. You know, Botdale hasn't got resources for ages. So the event cube is going to basically build this station. It's completely built, and that's going to give Bot Dell some points because there are empty spaces there, and he gets uh, two points for every space that the event cube effectively built. But that's good because that would have been way more points for him if he'd actually got to have some stone in there. Okay, so I'm first. I think I'm going to... I'm going to use my power. I'm going to draw two cards and see if I want them more than what I've got, so... It's points for rubble and tracks. Points for rubble. Have I got 12 rubble? 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, It's 10, isn't it? <laughs> one more than 9. I've got 10. So one excavation, I'd have the points for that. And immediately convert. Or whenever you take the build action, any stone cost is reduced by a stone. Uh, stacks with other discounts. I think, then, we will discard those and we will keep the rubble points. And potentially the conversion. Yeah. So have I got, I have got a coal, so I can pay for my third worker again. That needs to go back in the bag. So he can come back. Uh, the but Bot Dell doesn't have one still. So he's going to have to just wait, isn't he? So I just need to do two things, basically. And then the game ends. In a two-player game, by the way. This is, I don't think this exists for uh, higher player counts. 
probably because it wouldn't happen as much. Even though there's more stations in a game with more players, a, a few more, uh, you would probably have done these things between you. So I need to build a track, really, don't I? So I want, I would like excavation. I don't really care which excavation point I'm at because we're not near a station. And then I would like to do some track building because I don't need to convert anymore. What's Bot Dell going to do? He's going to do six, which means he is doing an A action and he'll take first player from me. Could be worse though. So it's me. Don't roll the dice for me. I Oh, laying tracks only got one option. I should have gone on that first. Uh, Bot Dell is doing six again, which is C, which is conversion. And then, oh, I've got my third. I want a contract card, see if I can get a sneaky contract. Probably my surveyor, right? And then that's my second thing. Is there another beer? Yes, there's another beer one up here. And in fact, you can get a beer by building in that one. So yeah, we'll do surveyor. Okay, so getting resources. Hasn't got a coal, so we'll take a coal. And then the others are going to be iron, based on his rules. And then for excavating, the work rate is two. That just puts me in, doesn't it? Three, five, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, just puts me in range. So, converting. So, first of all, he's only got two iron, so he gets to convert that into a steel bar. That's just special for him if he's got exactly two and he's got a conversion left. And he's got less than four stones, so he will use his other two conversions to get stone. Then, track building. I don't... Oh, I don't need a... I don't need an, an iron bar because I, c I can immediately uh, convert these. I wondered what I was going to do, so that can get tapped. I have two steel bars, and I'll be using one to build train tracks up here. And it's the, it's the one that had seven rubble on it, so that's seven points as well. Not too shabby. And... But Dell is finished for the round, and my surveyor is going to move up. It's just to the next station, so I don't need to pay anything, which is good because I can't afford. And I don't have any beer on there, so I get to put my marker on. And what should I have? I could build in a station. I don't have anything to build in a station with unless a station wants rubble or love. No, I could get a contract card. I don't think I would have anything extra for any of these contract cards. I'll just take the 11 points then. Rubble from the supply. And... That, I believe, is it. Yeah, the game ends immediately as soon as uh, someone has run out of their markers. So we need to score for Botdell first. So first of all, he gets two points for every track card completed by the game, you know, the event cubes, and two points for every empty space on station cards that were completed by the game. So we have two points there. The game did that. There's no marker on it. Two, four... And then there's four spaces on there, so that's 6, 8, 10, 12 points for Botdell there. But that's all the event cubes managed to do. They were, they were very scarce in this game. So Botdell gets 12 points. We've got this card that comes with the... There's a few of these cards that come with the Master Set to help you keep track of things when you need to. Then we do track cards. They score as normal, which is the points on them. So that's 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 3 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15. So that's another 15. So he's on 27 right now. Station card score is normally. He was only actually on this station, I think, which is 8 plus 6. That's another 14 points. 30, 41. It reveal his contract cards. If there are fewer than four, you draw until you have four. And so we need to try and make this so he can get the most points possible. We can use leftover steel tracks as if they were rail cards. I think, actually, he's had some terrible luck in the cards that he's managed to get because he's, he's got three markers on stations, so that doesn't count. He's got no markers on tunnels, so that doesn't count. He's got the rubble, though. He's got three, four rubble, and he has built one track at least. Yep, there. So that can count towards those. In the normal game, by the way, you would remove them to... Because you're not allowed to spend them on multiple cards. So each, each track only counts once for one scoring card. So that's a way that you can do it. So he gets 11 points for that. And then he's got four more rubble there. So that's going to be 16 points on cards. It's not very much at all. 
So 16 would put him on 57 points. There's no surveyor, but there is the points for the... Whatchamacallit? So how are we going to keep track of this? Is there, there isn't another side with 60 on, I don't think. So we're just going to have to remember. He gets another 11. So we're on 68. So then he gets four points for every unspent steel ball or contract card. So that's going to be 4, 8, 12, 16, 24. 24. So we're on 92 right now. Three points for every coal. So that is another three. And then a point for each iron or stone. So that's four stone, four more points. So that's 99. And then a point for every two rubble rounded down. So it's got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. That's another 10 points. So that's 109 is Botdell's final score. So we have the fancy new score sheet that, you know, applies to all of the scenarios, vaguely enough. So Botdell scored, what, 109. So let's keep track of that. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. So points that I have, I just score normally. Track ownership, I have four. Pencil came with the game as well. Four. We'll treat tunnels as track. Four, six, eight, 15. On tracks, stations, I did a lot of stations. These aren't worth any points. This one, four, nine, that's 13. Four up there, that's 17. And then 40 on there, it's 57. Contracts, okay, so we have, because you see you've already scored your stations and your tracks and things, so you're okay to take the markers off them. So I have one, two, Three from in the corner there, four, five for on there. So that's okay for my 15 points. Three more from stations. So I can just grab these up here. I'm not 100% sure if the beer marker counts. I would assume it does, but it doesn't matter. I don't need it to. I can grab two from tracks there because they're tunnels. Remember, they, there's a separate you know, card that wants you to have done a lot of tunnels and the, the other tunnels were way up here. So luckily I didn't get any of those. Two tracks is just fine. And we worked out, didn't we, that I have two, three, four, five, eight, ten, twelve rubble. So I have 16, 15, 16, 15. So that's 30, 46, 52. So yeah, I've won by miles, haven't I? Am I, am I playing right? My train isn't worth any points. Some trains are. Train worth no points. Surveyors aren't worth any points in this. For the scenario, I have 11, 15, 18 special points. And so finally, I have, what, 109, 124, 142. Well, that beats you, Botdell. <laughs> so, yeah, I think his markers didn't really go out in this game in the way that he just ended up, really. And, yeah, you can, you can actually... There is a big table for... Assuming that you played right and that everything's groovy, if you are just particularly good at the game, then you can put things from the more challenging side in. So evacuate at one above the current work rate or begin the game with two steel bars, the Botdell, not you, or allow Botdell Surveyor to loop the route. Normal scenarios in this game usually involve the Surveyor going along the stations and the Surveyor being worth more and more and more points as the game has gone along. This would allow him to loop and score the points again and again and again if he did them again. Or to make it less challenging, you can make him evacuate at the normal work rate rather than plus one. Or do not use leftover steel bars as if they were track. Because, yeah, he could have gotten a lot luckier. And if they had been better things, he could have gotten some more points there. I think I did fairly well, though. Especially that, having the, the guinea pig train there come out and just using it on the massive, the six track cards in between those stations. So there was a good buffer of me just being able to do that station that's worth 40 points just on its own. But, hey... That is Snowdonia Master Set, well, the Y Valley Tora anyway, and Bot Dell 
Hope you enjoyed that. It gave you a good idea of what a fresh scenario is like, what the new version of Synodonia looks like, or some of it anyway, what uh, playing solo with the new AI player is like. If you would like to know what I think about these new things, then there'll be a new first impressions video for you coming up on the screen. There is the old Snowdonia playthrough that you can check out with the normal rules and the, the base game and two players. That will be linked somewhere. All of it will be. There's loads of playthroughs on this channel though. You can find another one that you like. If you've stuck with me this long, I assume that you have enjoyed it. I hope you have and that you're not being tortured with this video. But yes, I hope I see you there. It fizzles out at the end because usually my brain is worn out from filming these. Bye, everybody.